As you enter the town of Superior on US 60, you can pull right off to this family-owned restaurant known across Arizona for their homemade flour and corn tortillas. And this recipe, I know that it's been around at least for 150 years. There's no additives, no uh, anything else. It's just 100% corn. You cook it in water and lime. Every Tuesday inside the kitchen at Los Hermanos, the corn is cooked and washed, ground into a masa, cooked in a corn oven, then packaged by the dozen. We keep them refrigerated because there's no additives or retardants. They, they last a good seven days, but we make them uh, once a week, so uh, they're fresh. And people know when we make it because they'll call and find out when are you making them so they can get them hot off the grill. Nothing is uh, pre-made or anything like that. That's why we call it authentic. And it's worked because people will, will come back. The food is consistent. And uh, now that I'm doing it, I follow my mom's recipes. It's been a trademark of the Tamaran family for nearly 50 years. Los Hermanos means the brothers. There were six brothers and my mom. And uh, 45 years ago, this place was for sale. So we thought we would uh, buy it and make a business. We had no experience per se. My mom was a very good cook. So uh, she was in charge of the recipes and the food. She's 95 now. Of course, she's retired and uh, she just liked to cook. And uh, she sp made the recipes herself by testing and uh, cooking and uh, adding a little of this and a little of that. So there's not a written recipe, it's just a dash of this and, and it worked. And over the years, they've perfected their flour tortilla recipe. They're gonna make the patties and then they'll take them over to the dough roller and roll them out and stretch and then cook them and pack them. When Los Hermanos first opened, Richard says they had a lot of support from mine workers. When Magma was running, uh, there was a lot of restaurants, everybody was busy. There was like 14 bars, and they were always busy. People had money to spend. Uh, families would come in on, on certain days, eat out, big families. And then when Magma closed, well, that was a blow. Richard says the pandemic has been even harder. Before the pandemic, we used to have six ladies here with two machines going and two grills. Right now, we're down to two ladies and one shift. But Richard says they are working through it. He calls the town of Superior resilient, and so is Los Hermanos. 45 years later, we're still here. <laughs>
and then all the the paintings up at the top and the grand oversized lighting fixtures and everything. So it's a really cool atmosphere and vibe. They have photos of people getting married around the restaurant and of events that have happened here which matter to people. So you're keeping a little bit of history, repurposing it, but making something new where people are building new memories. While they do traditional Mexican style tacos, Dominic Scarpinato says they gather inspiration from cuisines all over the world. Every day we try to test, you know, what can we put in a taco? You know, how far can we take that, that term taco and push it? No matter the ingredients, each one starts with a house-made tortilla. One of the most popular is coconut shrimp, dipped in a seasoned batter and shredded coconut, fried and topped with pineapple salsa and mango aioli. Another crowd favorite is the Chipotle cherry steak taco. The steak is marinated in a cherry maceration for about 48 hours. It's then smoked with cherry wood. It's finished off to get a nice sear on the outside and it's plated up with some blue cheese, some poblano straws, and uh, aioli on top to kind of tie it all together. It's crunchy, it's meaty, it's sweet. It's a little bit sweet, savory. It's just an absolute amazing taco. Just one or two, you won't leave hungry. It's a half pound taco. <laughs> you could dine on the lighter side with their Southwest Caesar salad. It's got a cold beans, which sounds weird, but trust me, try it. You can pick your poutine and go along with it. It's got a poblano Caesar dressing and smoked corn nuts on top, actually. And this former house of worship certainly has its faithful. I really like the Cubano taco, um, which you can't get at a lot of traditional Mexican restaurants. So it's a play on the Cubano sandwich. It's got the pork, and then it's got, uh, I think, jalapeno bacon on there. And my favorite part is the mustard crema, which is ridiculous. I love mustard, and that on a taco is something you don't really get. We just did the nachos. Those were phenomenal, too. They have a blanco cheese sauce that's just killer. Lamb taco is my favorite. So it's lamb with fried um, sweet potatoes on top. So I like to think of them more as like tiny little sandwiches on tortillas. And let's not forget about their altar turned bar, which boasts more than 250 spirits, including 200 tequilas that transform classic cocktails. Well, we want to be able to show people that you can make these classics with agave spirits like mezcal, like tequila, like bacanora. And what better way to try their agave spirits than during confession hour? Taco Guild's twist on happy hour. There's definitely some unique things here that you're not really gonna find at most other restaurants. You know, you can tell your friends who ate tacos in a church, everyone wants to come to the church to eat tacos. <laughs> Amen to that.